Hey traders, this is Kim from NinjaAddons.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the toolbar that we developed in the new version of the Chartist Indicator for NT8 and explain the swing setting section. Let's start. The goal of the toolbar is to facilitate the comprehension of the wave settings and also give you a quick access to all the parameters without having to open the indicator's window and most of the time without having to reload the chart itself. First, we are going to load the Tritus indicator on the chart. To do so, click on the indicator's icon at the top, then select the folder Ninja Add-ons and double-click on the Tritus indicator. You can let the default settings and click OK to load the indicator on the chart. As you can see, the indicator displays all the pattern that it found automatically. There's also a toolbar on the left-hand side that will allow you to configure and display basically everything related to the Tritus. You don't need to open the indicator window anymore. Also, the toolbar that you can see here at the very left is not part of the Chartist indicator, but it is a toolbar that we give away for all our members and subscribers for free. It contains the drawing tools that you can find here with same functionalities, and it is an NT8 add-on that is installed automatically on every chart. You don't need to load it manually each time you open a new chart. Again, it's free, and if you want it, you just have to click on the link below this video to subscribe and receive it. Now back to the chartist. So the first important thing here is that the toolbar is attached to your chart, but can also be detached and put in a floating window. To do so, you just have to click on the four little arrows icon, and then to attach it again to the chart, just click on the same icon. Also note that the state of the toolbar is saved in your workspace and will be restored when you reload the indicator or open the NT8 again. All right. As you can see, there are nine icons in the right column. The first one corresponds to the swing settings, which I will explain in this video. All others control each pattern individually. At the time I'm doing this video, the Tritus indicator can detect eight patterns, and these are double top bottom, triple top bottom, head and shoulders, this is new, cup wood handle, this is also new, rectangle, flag, ascending, descending triangle, and symmetric triangle. By the way, we have removed the wedge and expanding triangle because they were giving too much signals that were not easy to trade and inaccurate most of the time, but we will work on them in a future version, version to add them to the Tritus indicator. If you left click on an icon, it will open the corresponding panel, and if you click again, it will close all panels at the same time. So let's do that for the swing settings. The swing settings panel is where you will configure the zigzags that are used to compute and detect all the chartist patterns. You can change the mode of calculation of the swings from very small to very big, which corresponds to the swing strength parameter and also choose to calculate the zigzag with high lows values or the close of the bar. It is important to note that if you change one of these values, you'll have to reload the chart to take the changes into account and see the result on the chart. Note that the reload button at the top is visible in order to remind you that you have to reload the chart. Also, it is impossible to visualize the zigzag because once configured, it will be applied to multi-time frames data in order to find all the pivots in your chart. Now here's a picture of what the indicator analyzes in real time. And as you can see, there's a lot of information and there's no point to display that of the chart. All right, we can now close the swing settings panel by clicking on the arrow at the right and close the entire toolbar by clicking on the setting icon. There's also a shortcut to display or hide in a single click each pattern individually. To do so, just simply right click on the corresponding icon. It will change the display mode on each click. So if the toolbar is closed, you can right click and display all or the current only or none. For each pattern, you can do the same. For example, you can open the head and shoulders panel by clicking on the corresponding icon and change its display with a right click. Each pattern comes with its own settings. I'll do another video to explain in more detail what you can find here, but as you can see, you can change the parameters that corresponds to the display. The ratio tab allows you to change the ratios of the pattern with a pictogram to help you understand the settings. 
the guide tab corresponds to the projection levels and validation and validation levels. And finally, the volume section controls the display of volume information, which is new to the NT8 version of the Chartist. Again, there will be other short video tutorials to explain in more details the settings that you can find in each tab and panel, as well as how to use the Chartist indicator with the market analyzer, configure alerts, and create strategies. Well, that's it for now for this video. If you have any questions, suggestion, or feedback, please send us a note at contact at ninja-addons.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a new video is published. Thanks for watching. Until next time.